Okay, in the garage today, trying to diagnose a lot of drivetrain noise. Wow. I think it's a drive shaft vibration. Maybe the four link being loose. Only way we're gonna know is to check. Kelvin Ariol in the CX Racing FCR7. Ooh, Kelvin. It's exploding that front bumper. As it says on his windshield, dang, uh-oh. Upon further inspection, of course, these things always get messed up, dirt dropping, grinding, just banging these things around. Maybe I can redo these and make kind of like a skid plate. Oh, I just had this thing off. I should have checked the backlash. Some play in this upper link. It has a cheapy hind joint. And if you notice these booger welds here, this was actually a track fix. You know how temporary fixes are supposed to be temporary? Oh, like I said, dirt drop in. So what I'm gonna do is start the car, put it in gear, and see what's going on. Got my stethoscope here. I'm gonna diagnose the noise exactly where it's coming from. It's a third member. You can see it's shifting. Okay, I've come to a conclusion that the backlash is off. And just to compare, I have some spare diffs here. So we can look. This one moves around this much. Not a lot. Which already has better backlash. Which I'll probably just put this one back into the car. Who's in charge of welding this diff? Okay, so if the backlash is good, I'm just gonna weld the diff again. I have it zeroed out, and then we're just gonna shift it. It's about 10 thousandths. We have about 12 inch pounds on the total pinion preload, and we have about 10 thousandths of backlash. Three thou to seven, almost eight thousandths of an inch. Dang it. I'm trying to avoid this. Too much backlash, not enough pinion preload, and our welds are broken. I guess I'll just call this video Diff Tech. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is everything I take out from this side, I'm gonna place here. Everything I take out from this side, I'm gonna place here. Left, right, right. Made this tool. Left, left, right, right. Hey, okay, no locking tabs. But sure, for the demonstration of this video, let's get our baby hammer. It's cute, right? Okay, cool separating all right 7.5 inch 5-529 I don't see any funny wear pattern so so I need to weld that and maybe I'll make some plates for it so I'll put this on the table say 24 half inch to 3 8 to quarter as you can see by the wrench here, there's no preload at all. Okay, and one of these diffs have a solid pinion spacer. I don't know which one it is. It might be this one. And I'm thinking I might have to take off a washer, but let's just. I really don't want to go through the process. 
Okay, so let's find the smallest shim. 0.24. Okay, so I'm gonna take out one of these. And we gotta do the whole process. And I'm just gonna wipe these nice and clean. Let's do it all over. Okay. Gotta support the pinion with your hand. Oh yeah, that's feeling pretty right. Yeah, we're about 12. We're just gonna give her a good old punch right there. It's a lot easier to weld without the ring gear. You get a lot less slag, but it's a little more work. So what we need to do is make a plate. One thing I might do is uh, grind little slits here so that sits in there a little better. We have all these do is center onto the spider gears. Enough of that, let's weld it. Okay, good enough. Clean off some of that slag on there. Okay, gotta get the ring gear on here. Gotta make sure there's no boogers here that it's gonna lay pretty flat okay just want to make sure the ring gear is sitting flush there's no gaps a little bit of thread locker don't forget the ones you tighten down and we yada 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 torque to 72 foot pounds okay somewhere there's a Toyota tech yelling at me but it's not on the bearing. Gotta get this guy into that guy. Okay. Another tool that I use is this piece for the grinder. Okay. Sounds good. Feels good. Let's get our dial indicator in place. And that's four. Okay. Total preload on a used bearing is anywhere, it's like 9 to 19. Okay, hey, we're about there. Let's mess up the splines. Let's see if everything went out of whack or if everything's still okay. Let's say we're about 16. Okay, we're about 4th out. If the wear pattern is off on this, then we gotta scrap it. We gotta change the pinion depth. It's not an easy thing to do, so for now, I'm not even gonna check it. Okay, we're gonna check it. So we're gonna run it back the other way. Looks like the wear pattern is perfect. It's right in the center. Right on the center. I see it from here. To there from here to there okay proper contact heel contact toe contact okay so that's it for today it's hot in this garage and finish this diff the next time you're gonna see this diff it's gonna be inside of this car we just gotta drop out this one also don't forget to put these back on, these little locking tabs. Comment down below how long you think it's going to take me to take out the diff.